And we need recognition of the effort of journalists in these very hard times. Women journalists reporting from crises. Cynthia Membreno, audience manager and former journalist at Confidential in Nicaragua. Welcome, Cynthia. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. And joining us through Zoom, we have Alina Radu, who is editor-in-chief at ZDG in Moldova. Alina, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Um, you're based in a country that neighbors Ukraine. And I can only imagine what kind of extra dimension that um, brings to the war that's happening at the moment. So let me start off by asking you, how are you? How are you holding up there? It's very complicated today. And for the whole week, we are for a week in a war, we're in a neighboring a war. And it means uh, more than uh, 100,000 of Ukrainians entered our country to be refugees here or in any other country and it means we have to write a lot of stories about that but also we have to write stories about what is happening in the world because it is absolutely near us uh, people in moldova can hear the bombings and people in moldova have questions every day how it's going on and if it comes or not to our country so it's a huge difficult for our reporters to, to do so much reporting every day. Actually, um, our newsroom transformed itself and it works just from five in the morning till yeah. 12 in the night or maybe all the 24 hours. Uh, Cynthia, um, Nicaragua, of course, has had to deal with its own political crisis um, in 2018. I was wondering, can you maybe start off by um, sharing some of your experiences from that time? And do you perhaps see any parallels with what's happening in Ukraine at the moment? Yeah, well, to sum it up, because it has been four years already. Um, well, everything started because people were um, tired of the government trying to impose power and being undemocratic. Um, and Alina, just to go over back to you, just to zoom in a little bit more on the gender aspect here, um, what's it like to uh, be a women journalist and reporting from uh, a crisis situation? So do you feel there are specific challenges for women journalists in these situations? Of course, there are all the challenges uh, from psychological to physical. Um, because, uh, for instance, let's say yesterday um, we received a message from Russian government. They said officially they prohibit us to publish texts about the war. And uh, we don't belong to Russian government. Why should they give us such orders? Uh, I think this you, you know, in this moment, you don't feel safe to fight with the Russian government, but of course, in front of the readers, you feel the duty to report, to do this reporting. And we placed a note on our web page and on social media saying that we have this challenge, but we'll continue to work. And there were, you know, messages, of course, a lot of messages of support, but some of the messages were like, huh, women are going to war and uh, you are a woman, do you understand what you do? And in this moment, you understand that you are able to lead a newsroom, to organize everything in newsroom, and to do a lot of really good reporting, and our reporters are the best, are the uh, prize winners, but then uh, this male males they think that you should not do reporting about the war mm -hmm. and you should not criticize um, this corrupt government in russia and those who are making this war. i do hear in your answer um a the problem of a strong sexist narrative um which can have severe psychological effects i imagine and cynthia what are what are your views on this topic of, of being a woman journalist in times of crises. Yeah. Did, how did you experience that? Yeah, I think that um, one of the biggest fears, because there is a history of sexual abuse within the regime in, in the context of Nicaragua, 
I think that as a reporter or, or as a civilian in general, if you are in a place that can turn uh, risky, yeah. then of course what you have in mind is, am I going to be uh, put in jail? Mm -hmm. From the moment that I am put in jail to the to the whatever they're taking me, am I going to be, you know, um, is there going to be violence? A am I going to be raped? Am I going to be uh, threatened? So I think these are thoughts that in conversations with my friends and colleagues, we yeah. we share them because I, I don't want to say that a, a, man, a male journalist is not going to think about it, but with women, that is the biggest fear in a, in a society that is uh, exercise uh, gender violence. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's that's a big dark cloud that always hangs over uh, yeah. being a woman, and especially it being a woman journalist. I think in times yeah. of crisis. Yeah. So, yeah, to ask you, Alina, first, both of your media outlets, Confidential and ZDG. Uh, are part of our um, uh, Vimes project, our cross-border knowledge exchange project. Um, and I'm wondering, do you, do you feel that cross-border cooperation could help uh, in times of crises as well? This was the perfect help. Uh, really, the, really, it was really wonderful. Uh, when this war started, we had a list of credible correct sources in Ukraine, in Russia, in Belarus. So many people in Moldova asked us, how can we get informed? What is the correct source? Because there are plenty of sources. The internet is huge now. We placed on our web page and uh, on our, our social media everywhere and said, look at the list uh, to, if you want to be well informed about what is happening in Ukraine and Russia. And in, on the top of this list are our partners and we cooperate so well. And actually when yesterday we received this um, order from the Russia government to, to take down some text about the war from our webpage, our first call was to our Russian colleagues because it happened to them. <laughs> and we had a talk with them and we changed ideas. I think that just by by knowing that there are media where we can read what's happening in certain countries and to see them as a mirror of what has hap has been happening in our countries in the sense that sometimes it almost seems like a script or just to look at what the others are doing it's very inspiring and also even um amidst the crisis it makes you feel calm to know that you can talk to someone who yeah. has more experience and who's been there yeah thank you both uh i just would like to round off um this this uh episode by asking each of you um what do you think is most needed um to keep journalists and more specifically women journalists safe in times of crises alina let me start off with you it depends on the crisis. Now we really think about uh, things to protect women like helmets and uh, some equipment. Uh, but also we need, of course, um, um, IT security for everybody and for women as well. And we need some training and we need some psychological help when needed. And we need salaries to pay people who work more than eight hours a day uh, and we need recognition of the effort of journalists in these very hard times yeah. it is a short list we have a long one yes well there's long one needed <laughs> and and you cynthia yeah any i think additions? i agree yeah i agree with alina and i think that it is very valuable to get trainings to know exactly the dimension of the situation that you're facing because sometimes what happens is that we're so focused on reporting mm -hmm. and we're so focused on you know getting day by day that you tend to forget how it can affect you emotionally physically and mm -hmm. not only you but also your family and and the people near you and also we would love to you know put down these barriers in which you get comments like the ones that I, alina has heard yeah. about you're a woman going to report on the war or you're a woman going to war we are 
the same and we have the same worth yeah. so let us do our job and not push us back because we have so much to offer as yeah. professionals so there's something to be found in in the solidarity within yeah. women journalists yeah. um even cr cross borders mm -hmm. as well um well thank you both so much for uh all your insights it was very very uh valuable to have you both here mm -hmm. today this was studio free press matters see you next time <laughs>